interior angles measurements, when you're not given any information about it, here's what you need to do. Here's a little trick. So if I want to know what each angle measurement is, first I need to find out what they all equal together. A little trick that I learned is start at one point, maybe this point, and draw diagonals to see how many triangles you can actually make inside the shape. Looks like I can make one, two, three, four triangles. And I know that a triangle, the sum of a triangle is 180. So if I have four of these, all I have to do is take 180, multiply that by four, and it's going to give me 720 degrees. So the sum of all the interior angles of this polygon is 720. So if I write that right here, I won't forget. So the whole thing inside is 720 degrees. Now, if I want to figure out what each angle is individually, I know it's all going to be the same. So I know there are six sides, six corners. All I have to do is divide by six, and that will tell me what each angle is worth. So this one is 120 degrees. This one's 120 degrees. This one is two. This one is also all of them. So the sum of the interior angles is 720. Each individual angle is 120. Um, if you are asked to find the sum of the exterior angles, here's what you do. You always remember that it's 360 degrees. Always. No matter what shape it is, it's always going to be 360 degrees. Because basically, you are trying to find the sum of all of them together. It's almost like a circle, and we know that a circle is 360 degrees. So don't forget, exterior angle is always 360 degrees.